Welcome to Ridgeway, Telluride, and Ure, Colorado. So today is 4th of July weekend and we are so, so, so excited because we are finally in an area of Colorado we've been trying to get to for a while now. We are in the San Juan Mountains and we are exploring Ridgeway, Telluride, and Ure. I'm sharing our complete three-day travel guide as we explore Ridgeway, Telluride, and Ure, Colorado. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jeannie. I live in Colorado and I share all sorts of Colorado outdoors, hiking, travel guides, and so much more. So consider subscribing and following along so you don't miss out. We have three full days. Today we are focusing on Ridgeway and we're doing a hike that has been on my list for a long time, like one of the top hikes that I've always wanted to do in Colorado, and that is the Blue Lakes Trail. So we are currently at the trailhead right now. We're about to get started. The hike is just under nine miles and we're gonna be seeing about three different lakes today. Beautiful blue alpine lakes here in the San Juan Mountains. So let's get started. It's a beautiful morning. When we left, the trail had at about 7.30 to start our hike, and I think it was about 55 degrees. So, awesome hiking weather. And hopefully the skies stay blue, and we don't get any random afternoon storms. This trail to Blue Lakes is beyond beautiful, but it's definitely not an easy hike. Be prepared for a steep start at the beginning of the trail. The wildflowers were in full bloom and it was so beautiful. There's also a small stream running close to the trail, which eventually leads to a beautiful waterfall in the distance. We're getting to the first lake. We have a little bit of mileage left, but I, I'm so in love with this landscape and these mountains. So my favorite national park I've ever been to is Glacier National Park. And this is giving us 100% vibes of Glacier National Park. Oh, this is gorgeous. These mountains, the wildflowers, the pine trees. It's like a mini Glacier National Park here in Colorado. Is what this reminds me of. Oh, pretty sweet. <laughs> My gosh, they say this water looks like Gatorade, and they're not wrong. This is so beautiful. This is Lower Lake, and it took us exactly two hours to get here. Yeah, this is absolutely the Glacier National Park of Colorado. <laughs> How is this not a national park? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. After Lower Lake starts another good climb, and you have a few river crossings too, but this climb is where you start to get up above the lake for even more dreamy views of this beautiful blue Gatorade colored lake. We made it to the middle lake, lake number two. Whew. This one's not quite as blue, but it's still beautiful. Once you make it to Middle Lake, the trail to the third lake is pretty easy and not too far. And this is where the wildflowers were going crazy. They were so beautiful along the trail between Middle and Upper Lake. We made it to lake number three of the Blue Lakes Trail. And right as we get to the third lake, it starts to sprinkle. <laughs> At least we didn't get any other rain during the hike, but of course at the end. <laughs> well, we're saying goodbye to the third lake. It is 11.15. We sat, we had some snacks and drank some water and stuff in the rain, <laughs> but it's not bad. But the temps have dropped now, so yeah, we is, uh, some really dark clouds over here. Um, we've got to love some <laughs> mountain weather. So anyways, we're gonna truck back to the vehicle as fast as we can. When hiking in the mountains, always come prepared for any type of weather. Mountain weather can change fast. Always wear layers, have rain gear with you at all times, and be sure to bring lots of water and snacks, and please remember, leave no trace. All right, we made it back to the trailhead. 
It is exactly 1.30. So it took us exactly six hours to do this hike to all three of the Boo Lakes here by Ridgeway. It's rated hard and they're not lying. It's definitely a difficult hike. Amazing hike. I think this is probably our favorite hike yet in Colorado. You gotta do the Boo Lakes here. We are in Ridgeway now. This is where we're gonna have our lunch slash dinner for the day. It's still sprinkling, um, but yeah, such a cute little town. We stopped at the True Grit Cafe. They have a two-level restaurant with a cozy Western theme atmosphere and a lot of variety on their menu. I got the buffalo chicken wrap, which looks amazing, with some french fries. And then look what Vince got. Macaroni and cheese with wings on top. <laughs> yeah. Look at these fries. Oh my gosh. Yum. <laughs> True Grit Cafe was so, so good. Mac and cheese. Yeah. He, chicken. His mac and cheese with it. the chicken <laughs> was so good. My wrap was amazing. So highly recommend if you're looking for a place to eat in Ridgeway. And per usual, we had to go get some ice cream. So we're at, I think, Cafe Ridgeway. It's called A La Mode, I think. Best part of the day is some ice cream after a long hike. <laughs> All right. Well, we're done for the day. We are so shot and tired from that oh. hike. I know he's like oh, falling oh asleep God. over here. That's a lot of miles. <laughs> But we just got to our hotel. We're staying here for three nights. Um, so we booked our trip out here um, three weeks before we actually came out here. So being it's 4th of July weekend and literally we waited till almost last minute to book this trip. Um, prices were so high in like the Telluride, Uray, all that whole area. Um, so we're actually staying in Montrose, which is only like 30 minutes from like Ridgeway and prices were a lot, a lot better. So <laughs> because I was not about to spend, you know, five, $600 a night in Telluride, that was insane of what was left. So um, much cheaper here. Um, so we're staying at the Super 8 in Montrose and really nice little hotel here. I'll show you quick our room. But yeah, if you're looking for a hotel and you're okay driving, um, you know, each day Montrose will have much more affordable options. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow for day two in Telluride. <laughs> Good morning. It is day two of our time here down in the San Juans. And today we are headed to Telluride. But before we get to Telluride from Montrose, we are driving the last dollar scenic road here in Colorado, which is one of the many scenic roads here in Colorado. And if you can see behind me, these mountains, gorgeous. So the drive from Monterose where we're staying to Telluride is about an hour and 20 minutes so a little bit of a longer haul this morning but it is so scenic this drive that it doesn't even matter it's beautiful and it's a beautiful morning again so we're hoping to get a lot of our big items done this morning before those afternoon monsoon season showers come in again um, because that's just how it is in Colorado. <laughs> But anyways, let's get started here on our day in Telluride. If you decide to check out the last dollar road, just note this is a gravel road that connects all the way to Telluride. However, you will need a high clearance vehicle as the road does become quite a challenge the further you get into the mountains. We did not drive the entire road, just a small portion of it because it would have added way more time to our morning drive than we wanted to take on. But we're glad we checked it out. It was beautiful. We made it to Telluride. And the first thing we're doing is to see the beautiful Bridal Veil Falls here in Telluride. Now, there's a few ways you can get here. Number one is you can hike about two miles round trip uh, straight up, or you can take a off-roading road to the base of falls, and that's what we are doing. <laughs> Please note, if you take on Black Bear Pass Road to get to the base of the waterfall, you must have off-road driving experience and a high clearance vehicle. It's a bumpy, rocky road with some gnarly switchbacks. We made it to the waterfall. Bridal Vale Falls in Telluride. Bridal Veil Falls is the tallest free-falling falls in Colorado at 365 feet high. And located at the top of the falls is a historic power plant and still to this day produces energy for the town of Telluride. This is one waterfall you can't miss. It's definitely one of the prettiest waterfalls I've ever seen in Colorado. This is such a beautiful waterfall! Now we're just walking on the road because we're gonna try and get closer up to the power plant area to get more side profiles of the waterfall. And this road also gives you some really beautiful views of Telluride. Wow. Oh. 
All right, well this is the beautiful Bride of Lyle Falls of Telluride. Now we're gonna head back to town and get some coffee. <laughs> As you enter Telluride, you can see this waterfall in the distance and you can get views of it from pretty much anywhere in Telluride. And Telluride itself is set in a box canyon which is surrounded by 13 and 14,000 foot mountain peaks all around with Bridal Veil vale Falls situated at the head of the canyon. All right, we're in downtown Telluride. It is so cute, decorated for 4th of July. There's like flags everywhere and flowers and it's just a beautiful day here. And here's our coffee spot. We're heading to High Alpine Coffee. We got mochas, iced vanilla lattes. Coffees are so good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amazing coffee, like one of the best lattes ever. Um, and now we're doing the free gondola ride that Telluride offers. Absolutely free. The Telluride Gondola Station is located just off Main Street and you can hop on and hop off at any of the four different gondola stations. Just got off at the San Sofia Station, just kind of getting in some views, lots of different hiking trails you can, can do from here. We're not doing any big hikes, but it's definitely an option. There's some really pretty aerial views of Telluride and the Box Canyon and wow. We hop back on the gondola and made our way to the next stop, Mountain Village. We're at station number three <laughs> mountain village mountain village is like a resort town atmosphere that is surrounded by the telluride ski resort and the golf club it had a very european village feel to it it was really pretty mountain village is so stinking cute so many cute shops and dining and whatnot um i might have to stop maybe get a beer and a mimosa or something we'll see <laughs> we made a quick stop at the tomboy tavern for a quick drink vince had a telluride brewing ipa and i got a mimosa we sat outside at the bar and enjoyed all the mountain views we're leaving mountain village center off to the very last stop um so it'd be station number four Woo! <laughs> mountain village is super cute um had a great mimosa vince had a great beer but loving the gondola it's definitely taking us longer than we expected because obviously we've never been here so we didn't know what to expect but it's so cool to get off at each stop and just like do a little hiking and then go check out town the mountain village and now i don't know we'll see what happens next <laughs> wow we made it to the end of the gondola. All right, well, there really wasn't nothing at the last stop. Um, this is City Hall. Yeah, the see, station. this place is <laughs> City Hall, grocery you know, store. grocery store. Um, so, yeah, we got out, checked it out, and now we're headed back down to Telluride. All right, we're back down in Telluride, and it's sprinkling. <laughs> Those afternoon mountain showers just keep coming. <laughs> and now it's pouring out. <laughs> we have to get to our vehicle to get our rain jackets. Well, it stopped raining, but we did go get our rain jackets, but we're good in case the other little cloud comes through, which is very possible. All right, time to eat. Both got cold pork sandwiches that have a bunch of coleslaw and a side of fries, and it looks amazing. So we got a whole bowl of barbecue sauce, that's how they come, and then you just like spoon it on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oak was really good. Um, there was a few other places we were hoping to get to, but we checked them out and they had over an hour wait. And we were just like, no, we don't want to wait that long. We were able to get right in there. <laughs> Telluride has a river trail that connects right from downtown. So we went and walked off lunch and took a nice, easy, relaxing stroll along the river and enjoyed all the mountain views of Telluride. Well, it's about three o'clock already, and I think we're wrapping up our time here in Telluride for the day. Um, beautiful little town, had a really, really nice day here. It was awesome to be able to finally see beautiful Telluride. So we're gonna head back to our hotel in Montrose and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is day three here down in the San Juans and a little change of plans today. Um, little, little rainy, little gloomy, little cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a pretty big hike on our list for this morning. Um, it was about a seven mile hike to two alpine lakes. Um, we drove all the way to the trailhead, did a whole hour and a half drive this morning, and it's still rainy and cloudy. And you know what? We're just gonna have to come back. We're not about to hike seven miles in cloudy rains to lakes that I know are beautiful Gatorade blue and get there and they're gonna be cloud filled or not look blue. But regardless, we still have a fun day ahead. So we're kicking our morning off with driving what is said to be the most scenic road in Colorado, the Million Dollar 
Highway. This stretches from Ure to Silverton and we are already down by Silverton this morning because that's kind of where our hike was this morning and then we were going to come back to Ure. And as we were driving in this morning we came upon a moose on the side of the road. He was beautiful so we got to enjoy a little bit of moose action this morning which is Always fun, my favorite animal. <laughs> the Million Dollar Highway winds and clings to the edges of the mountain and gives you breathtaking views of valleys, historic mining sites, waterfalls, gorges, and the colorful San Juan Mountains. If you're scared of heights, be prepared for some scary spots along the road, as in some parts, there's ledges that are straight down. This road is called the Million Dollar Highway because it's reported that it costed a million dollars per mile to build this road and is considered one of the greatest drives in the world. And it's definitely a drive everyone should experience once in their lifetime. We are in Yore, and Yore is also called the Switzerland of America. Yore is situated in the heart of the San Juan Mountains and is a national historic district filled with beautifully preserved buildings all along the streets of Yore. We're in Yore, and of course for staff, we're gonna go grab some coffee. So we are at Mojo's Coffee and Chai. We got our coffees, I got a mocha, Vince got a honey badger. Honey badger. And they are absolutely delish. And we're just chilling outside on the sidewalk with this right. view. Got our coffees. Just did a little bit of walking downtown while we're drinking our coffee. We will be going back because there's some shops and stuff we want to check out, but they're not open yet. So basically right in town, there's a spot where you can go take a quick hike to Cascade Falls here in Uray. So we're going to go do that hike right now and enjoy the morning that turned out really nice here. But <laughs> I think our hike from this morning, it's still raining really bad down there. So. It is what it is. Cascade Falls is an easy 0.2 mile trail from the parking lot to the base of the falls. Similar to Telluride, it's another one of those waterfalls you can see from all around the town. And if you're up for it, you can even climb the perimeter trail to get even closer to the waterfall. So they have a perimeter trail, which is a hiking trail that goes all the way around your way. And the waterfall is on that trail, um, but it's like a five mile trail that goes loops all the way around the city. Um, we're not doing that, but since it connects to the waterfall, we just came up here for a little bit to get some more views of your way down below. It's so pretty. All right, we're at our next stop here in your way. We are at Box Canyon Waterfall, so another waterfall stop. <laughs> However, this one you do have to pay for. I mean, it's $5 a person to enter, and you go into the canyon and go see the waterfall. So let's go. Box Canyon Falls can be seen from above or below, but just note there are quite a few stairs to climb at this attraction if you want to go up above to the bridge or down to the canyon floor. We climbed the stairs to the top of the bridge first for the views of Canyon Creek and then made our way back down to the canyon to see the 85 foot waterfall cascade down into the canyon. This waterfall spills thousands of gallons of water each minute. All right, we just got back from Box Canyon Falls. Really cool. I mean, it is very touristy um, and we knew that and we almost didn't go, but because we didn't do our hike this morning, we're like, well, we have a lot of time now. <laughs> so we went and I'm glad we did. I'm really glad we went. It was really cool to experience it. It's worth five bucks, it's pretty cool. Next, we made our way back downtown to Yore to stop at Red Mountain Brewing for a pre-lunch drink. All right, Red Mountain Brewing was amazing. He added an orange liqueur to my mimosa and I've never had that. It was the best mimosa I've ever had in my life. It was so good, so. He just upped the game on the mimosas. <laughs> but Vince loved his beer too. I don't know, he had some type of IPA? IPA, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, awesome, cool. So now we're just gonna walk around and then we're headed to go get some lunch because we're starving. <laughs> I'm officially a fanny pack owner. <laughs> When's the last time I had a fanny pack? Like five, six years old, but I know they're coming back in style and I've been wanting to try one. Tried it on, boom, had to have it. Hat matched. So cute. So, all right, Yuri, you got me. <laughs> Fanny bag owner. <laughs> so we are totally craving some Mexican because we haven't had Mexican yet on this trip. So we're going to me, Mexico. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this is amazing. So I got seafood enchiladas, and then Ben's got a combo plate. Look how big this is. Look at his hand. <laughs> like I can't even like show you how big this plate is. Kind this, of big hands. Yeah. He has <laughs> biggish hands, and that's how big it is. <laughs> this looks so good. Okay, this is 
seriously the best, best seafood enchiladas I've ever had in my life. Like, the best. I can't even explain how good this is. It's the best. And Vince over here, too. He's like, Oh God. <laughs> Uribe's got the Mexican now. If you're in Uribe and you're wanting some Mexican, you have to go there. That was the best Mexican we've had since we were in Tucson, Arizona. Like, we're kind of picky with our Mexican. Yeah, a little bit. A little, little, little picky, honestly. <laughs> and uh, that was so good. And it's just right off of Main Street. So don't be scared to go a few blocks off Main Street sometimes and try the restaurants because the people were so, so sweet and the food was out of this world. All right, another really popular thing here in Uray is the hot springs. It's right in town. However, it just started thundering and lightning, so they just shut them down. But it's another really fun thing here you can do. We were not planning on going here because for us, it's too water park-like. And that is a wrap here on our three days in Ridgeway, Telluride, and Uray. We had such an amazing time. There was only one thing we weren't able to do because of the weather and that was that hike this morning. Otherwise, we knocked out everything we wanted to do in these three days. And we already cannot wait to get back down to this area of Colorado because it is such a gem. It is so beautiful down here. And yeah, we're already making plans. What weekend next year can we get back down here because this is just gorgeous. There's so many more things to do and see and all the things down in these areas, but this was a perfect trip for our first time. But if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know down in the comments. And I hope this vlog helps you plan your trip out here. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. And be sure to check out my channel for even more Colorado travel, hiking, and outdoor guides.